What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Man, do I have an awesome Facebook ad training for you guys today. We're going to be talking about uh, specifically generating life insurance leads using Facebook ads. This is a brand new type of campaign that is absolutely crushing it. So if you're still, if you're interested in running Facebook ads, generating your own real-time exclusive life insurance leads, you definitely want to stick with me to the end of, uh, of this video. I've got some great, uh, it's just really important overall uh, lessons when it comes to Facebook ads in general. But I'm going to show you the numbers. I'm going to show you the results of this test campaign that we did and break down exactly how the campaign uh, works. So uh, my only ask as usual, if you guys find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys there, including my newly updated Agent Legion Mastery Program. If you're a life insurance agent, you sell annuities, IULs, retirement planning, that is definitely the program for you. I literally give you these exact campaigns that you could just copy and paste it to your ads manager, connect it into your Go High Level account, which I give you a 30 day free trial to when you sign up. Uh, it's after you sign up, it's part of the program. Uh, we're also doing a weekly group coaching call now where every week we get on a call, we review campaigns, talk about whatever it is that you're having issues with, et cetera. So uh, if you're looking to take your marketing for your life insurance and annuity business uh, to the next level, definitely check that out. All right, uh, let's get into it. The first thing, as usual, I, I always like to show you guys numbers. And this was actually my own campaign. Like I didn't test this for a client. I put my own money into this. It wasn't a ton of money, you know, but you don't really need to do a ton of money to test these things. But uh, I think that's something that that kind of lacks in the industry is uh, agency owners are afraid to put up their old money when it comes to advertising. Uh, so yeah, it's just interesting. But anyways, uh, this was a test campaign uh, that I did. And my motivation for this was that, uh, and you probably noticed this, is that Facebook's getting more and more expensive to advertise on, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's frustrating. It is what it is. It's still a great platform for generating leads, but the costs are starting to go up. So one of the lessons here is uh, how, basically how important it is to constantly test new new things, new new offer. And actually it's, it's testing new offers that I, I've seen make the biggest difference. And that's what I'm going to show you here in a minute where, you know, once you know your, your audience, like you've got your targeting down really good. And, you know, we, we've, we've identified like the, the types of creatives, like images and videos and stuff like that, which even that, like I tested a whole new different type of like a much more simplified ad image. Uh, I'll show you, but uh, the, what I found though, is that testing the offer uh, for me has made the biggest difference because in this particular case, we're targeting the same type of people we're using the same interests and stuff like that. Same type of ad copy style, you know, like changing the ad copy for me has just never really moved the needle much when it comes to lowering lead costs. It's the offer that makes the biggest difference. And so I was looking for, uh, was just basically trying to test for different ways to lower our lead cost. And man, did it work? Holy smokes. We're generating life insurance, real time, exclusive life insurance leads, $7 and 26 cents a pop. And actually it should be lower than that. And the reason is, so this is another important lesson when it comes to Facebook ads, especially if you're using lead forms, which is what this campaign is. Uh, it's the, really the only thing I do, uh, and use on Facebook. Uh, we have a really good Facebook lead form system, especially for life insurance, annuities, et cetera. But uh, I originally tested it with the, uh, like on the lead form, and we'll break this down in a second. I'm just giving you an overview of the campaign, but you can choose either more volume or higher intent. And if you select higher intent on the lead form, there's a, like an information confirmation step. Like they're basically just confirming that they've put in the correct info. And then you have to swipe right uh, or slide right in order to confirm it. Like I was getting really good engagement on the ad, but I wasn't getting any leads. And then as soon as I changed it to more volume, that's when the leads started coming in. So I don't ever recommend using the higher intent option on the lead forms. Uh, that's just been my experience. So uh, this should be lower, but even still, because like at that time I had two leads for, uh, for 13 link clicks, which is a terrible uh, conversion rate for lead forms. You should be consistently getting 30 to 50% conversion rates on your lead forms because it's a, it's an easy user experience. Uh, but yeah, uh, once I change it to more volume, so let, let's break down the numbers here. So I went from, uh, so we got 32 link clicks, uh, look at this link click through rate guys, one point, almost 1.9%, almost 2% 
on a on a life insurance offer and what we're doing what we offered is a, a checklist on how to get affordable life insurance so we're targeting people interested in life insurance we're putting an offer in front of them that has to do with getting affordable life insurance we got uh 32 link clicks 13 leads so that's uh, i don't know 35 40 percent conversion rate and out of the 13 leads, so we get, we got name, email, and phone number. Out of the 13 leads, five of them immediately requested a free quote. Let me take you in a go high level here and show you. Look at this free quote requested. We're not. I'm not offering the the free cust or the uh, yeah the custom life insurance plan uh, anymore. We're just going back to straight up free quotes uh, within our funnel system. So, like I said, I've completely uh, updated the agent legion mastery system. Brand new, more sophisticated, smarter uh, automations, follow up. Uh, better, uh, you know, just a better funnel system overall. But yeah, we had five people out of 13 leads request a free quote. These are real time exclusive life insurance leads that are re requesting information about getting a life insurance policy, guys. I mean, it's just, it's insanely powerful. So, you know, Facebook ads can still work really, really well when you do the right stuff, when you're you're testing different offers. So let's actually go into the campaign here. Let me show you what we did. And also I should mention too, this was not a nationwide campaign. So you guys, if you followed me for a little while, you know I like to do nationwide, uh, uh, as far as uh, the geographical location, I like to target the entire United States or country. You tend to get better uh, results that way. But I tested one state. So if you're an agent licensed in only one state, this can absolutely work for you. now. Obviously, the costs are going to vary from state to state. It just depends on the competition. But as long as you're getting good engagement, you're getting a really good link click through rate here. Like 1% is my minimum. Anything above 1%, you're doing really well. Eventually, those leads are going to come in. And so we were asking name, email, phone number, one custom question on the lead form. Usually, I usually do like one or two. And then we immediately take them to the uh, next step in our funnel. So let's uh, let me let's break down this campaign here. All right now. Uh, so the next part of this is the type of ad that I ran. Uh, so this is another uh, part of testing, guys, is so usually what I do is uh, within one campaign and one ad set where I'm doing twenty dollars per day, which is what I did here. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. It's like 15 or 20 bucks a day. I'll have three different ads in the ad set. I'll have one single image. I'll have one carousel ad, and then I'll have one video ad to give Facebook a little bit of variety. And it will determine which one is getting the best engagement, which one uh, it wants to show to people, right? To get you the best results. And that still works. I'm not saying it doesn't. But in this case, I only tested one single image ad and it was... Uh, I don't really know exactly what to call it, but it's a it's a type of image where it looks like a post in somebody's newsfeed. So it doesn't look like an actual like a professional ad or anything like that. It literally looks like a post. So uh, let me let me show you what it looks like here. And uh, we're just being very direct. Uh, we're very still very consistent with our ad copy, the headline and offer, the image. Like everything is consistent. But look here, guys. Th look at this. Like. <laughs> And I, I created this in Canva in like five seconds. You know, I, I chose a, a simple background. I put some text on it. Five tips for getting affordable life insurance. Who would like a free copy? And then I put in the headline, how to get an afford how to get affordable life insurance free checklist, download button. And then it uh, opens up the lead form right here. Uh, so th this is what I was talking about earlier, where when I originally had it on higher intent, I was getting the link clicks, but nobody was submitting the form. And I think maybe it's just confusing to people. I don't know. Uh, but then as soon as I changed it to more volume, that's when the leads started coming in. So I always recommend using more volume on this. But we asked a, a simple question here. You know, do you currently have any life insurance? This question doesn't really matter. Uh, I just like to ask like one or two very simple yes or no questions or multiple choice questions just to weed out the tire kickers a little bit. That way they're not just submitting in for, uh, like name, email, and phone number very easily. They actually do have to provide a little bit of information here. I find that one or two questions works really well. Uh, full name, email, phone number. And then uh, at the end here, look like we tell them they're going to receive their checklist shortly. Click the button below to request your free quote. Goes right into our funnel inside of Go High Level. Uh, I'll have a two-week free trial if you want to do this on your own. But again, I give you a 30-day trial to Go High Level once you sign up for Agent Legion Mastery now. 
Um, I actually create the sub account for you. Uh, so I'm able to push out all of these awesome new automations and follow-up sequences and campaigns uh, right into your sub account very easily. So uh, definitely check that out. But anyways, uh, so they request this free checklist. Like think about who's submitting this form, guys. Like not only are we targeted, like we're targeting people interested in life insurance, there, we're also giving a very specific type of offer that you're only going to request if you're in the market for life insurance. And then we make it super easy for them to get a free quote to see what they qualify for right on the confirmation page. It links out directly to our funnel, puts them into our follow-up sequence, which is the next thing I want to talk about. But uh, five out of 13 people requesting the free quote, I mean, that is just, that, that's just... To me, that's that's pretty that's pretty sweet. Now, here's the thing, though. <clears throat> it's one thing to generate leads, so you could take this, swipe it. I don't care. Do what you want. Um, I give you all of the ad copy, the offer, the checklist is already made, all the follow up sequences, the funnel, everything. I just I give it to you inside of Agent Lead Gen Mastery. You could just run a Facebook lead form campaign if you just want to generate leads. But here's the thing, guys: is not everybody's going to request the free quote right away. You've got to have a really good follow-up system in place to stay in front of people until they're ready to get whatever it is that they requested. Uh, like, the, well, I should say the main thing that they're interested in, which in this case is life insurance. They might not request a free quote right off the bat, but who knows? Maybe they do it two weeks later, two months later. It, does it really matter? It doesn't. As long as you're staying in front of them and you're, you're providing good educational content, you're not spamming the crap out of them, but you're giving them an opportunity to move forward in your funnel, that is really what moves the needle uh, in your marketing. All right. So it makes a huge difference. That's why uh, there's I, I have such a strong emphasis on the follow-up systems inside of Agent Legion Mastery, where I, I've already written the emails for you. I've already written the text messages. I'm adding ringless voice drops as well. Uh, like all these different types of follow-up to help you guys get more people on the phone so you can close more deals and uh, sell more policies. But that's, uh, I think that's it. I don't want this video to be too long, but it, uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty interesting campaign. Um, the, the other thing that I'll mention too, that I think is making a difference is you notice here that, um, on the background, it, like the cover photo for the lead form itself is different than the, the ad image. And I started, uh, I wanted to test this just to see if it made a difference. I do think it makes a difference. So now what I'm doing is I'll have my ad image here. But then on the lead form, uh, I put, uh, well, let's see, where is it? I think it's an intro. Yeah, right here. You can either use the image from your ad or use an uploaded image. And I literally create the same, uh, I think it's like a 10, yeah, it's a 1080 by 1080 inside of Canva. I use the same background color as the ad image. So there's that consistency. But I put a little bit of text up here at the top as kind of an additional uh, call to action. Uh, instructions, right? Get the free checklist to learn how to protect your loved ones for less than the cost of cable. I, I think that's, I, I mean, look, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. I think the results speak for themselves. I let the numbers tell me what, uh, it, like if something is working or not. 13 leads out of 32 link clicks. We're getting really good engagement, $7 leads. Five of them requested a quote to me. What else could you possibly ask for? right? When it comes to generating life insurance leads with Facebook ads. So anyways, that's what I'm testing right now, guys. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you're an agent, check out Agent Lead Gen Mastery. I got a free demo down there. It shows you exactly what you get access to. Uh, but either way, uh, always be testing different types of campaigns. If your campaigns are not doing well, change up the offer. Try and do something a little bit different and see uh, if you get a better response. Because eventually you're going to land on something that really resonates with people and that's when the leads can start pouring in. So I'm super excited about this. I'm doing this across the board in all the industries I work in. I'm testing credit repair, uh, annuities, retirement, business loans. Like we're getting $2 business loan leads right now with this. Uh, so like this, this particular strategy is working really well. So anyways, I hope you guys are crushing it. Uh, hit that like button. Check out all the stuff in the description. Always got good stuff for you guys there. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out. To your success.